my philosophy generally is, uh, is, is pretty simple, actually. It's what would I recommend to my family member? What would I recommend to my friend? What would I want done to myself? And I really start with that. And then second, whatever I recommend, it's got to be reasonable. It's got to be understandable to the patient. That's really important. If the patient doesn't understand these things, I, I've, I've really not done them a service. I have not succeed in, succeeded in delivering appropriate care to that patient. You know, the great thing about neurosurgery, not only does it deal with this sort of um, frontier-like area, the brain and, and the spinal cord and nervous system function, but things that affect these systems really affect essential as attributes of people, like their personality, uh, their ability to move, their ability to speak, their ability to feel things, to see things. It, there's just such essential characteristics of a human being. That's, that's what the real interesting thing about neurological surgery is. So I, I've been trained in minimally invasive approaches, traditional neurosurgical approaches, as well as skull-based approaches. And there's been a lot of focus on minimally invasive recently. And I understand that because uh, patients and patient families want that for themselves. But my focus for a patient really is not about what might or might not be minimally invasive. My, my focus is on what is maximally safe. And so in a given situation for a given patient with a certain tumor, minimally invasive may be maximally safe. A skull base approach in another patient might be maximally safe. What I'm interested in is figuring out for that patient what is maximally safe for that patient's brain in this situation.